but a friend of mine that was running the grizzly bear from Ketchikan called and he said, Harry, he said, there's something wrong. He said, be careful. And I said, what is it, Cap? And he said, the whole bay down here has dried up. He said, we're laying on our side on the bottom of the ocean. He said, all the water went out of the bay. And I said, I'll start radio hopping and see if I can find out what's going on. So then I thought, maybe if I switch to the marine band, no, to the broadcast band, I can get Anchorage radio. And I did. And I switched to that. And right away, I got the announcer in Anchorage. And he said there had been a terrible earthquake. He said, Valdez has been wiped out, Cordova has been wiped out, and that was his words. <laughs> it's hard to explain how that hits you when you've got a wife and kids and the announcer says that the towns have been wiped out. Yeah. It scared me to death. And uh, right away I called Cordova. And bingo, they came back. And it was like a breath of heaven because Jan said, we're fine, Harry. Don't listen to that Anchorage broadcaster. She knew. She said, your family's fine. We're okay. Anyway, shortly after I got hold of the teal, he said he wanted to go back. He said, there's going to be a horrible tsunami. And I said, well, we're safer out here in the deep water than any place. I said, I'm going to go to Cordova. So we went north and got to Cordova just fine. After we passed Cape St. Elias, we started getting into housetops, bridge pieces, trees, every kind of floatsome you can imagine. So we went on and done our work, and, and as we went around the sound, we seen devastation you couldn't believe, rooftops, pieces of bridges, stuff floating. We found many slides where there was goats killed, come down off the mountains. They was in, in along the beaches dead. And uh, it was spooky. We found boats adrift, several of them upside down. It just washed them right into McArbor from the backside. You had to see it to believe it. And you know, that's when you realize the power of God. It had to have been washed up there with the, with the horrible wash. When it went. I don't know to this day what happened in Nelly Wan, but I think a glacier slipped during the earthquake out of Blue Fjord, hit the water, and shoved the tsunami out of the bay. And then we went down and we seen Chenega, what was left of it. There was nothing. It had wiped everything out but the school in Chenega. High ground. Start walking for higher ground. <laughs> and, and don't be scared to go high, because when I seen what happened at Minkwa Harbor, like I told you, it was about 250 yards up that draw. There was a pile driver upside down. 